Well, welcome to Worship Online with Orpington Baptist Church. Wherever you are this morning, welcome to you. And uh, I trust that over the next hour, uh, you're going to really enjoy our worship time, but also enter into it. Don't just, uh, don't just watch it. Enter into it. And uh, people are, are watching on screens uh, all over, um, all over our town, all over uh, our country, and many people from around the world as well, we've been, we've been finding. And whether you're watching on a screen or just listening down a, a phone line, as we've been, uh, uh, may you know that you're loved by God. May you know that you're precious to him. That's what the theme of the service is this morning, taken from Psalm 139, who, uh, who I am, who am I? And, uh, and we're going to begin uh, uh, by answering it really in song, in worship. We're going to begin as we sing together, I am a child of God.
and as children of, of our Heavenly Father, we can pray to him. We can call him Abba, uh, Father. We're going to do that now. Let's, uh, let's pray together. Abba, Father, we come to you this morning, the desire in our hearts to bring you worship and praise for the God that you are and the God that you can be in and for our lives. We pray, come Holy Spirit and make yourself known to us as we worship this morning in this different way. Come to us wherever we are and help us to feel your presence and peace. We thank you for your love for each one of us. We thank you that you are are good all the time, all the time. You are good. We pray that you'd fill us, despite the troubles of the world just now, that you would fill us with a spirit of thanksgiving, that you'd help us to count our blessings before you and to name them one by one to be surprised what the Lord has done. Thank you, Lord Jesus, most of all, for giving yourself for us in death on Calvary's hill, in resurrection and in triumph over the grave. 
promising eternal life to all who believe in your name. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We praise you. We pray together the prayer that Jesus himself taught us to pray, saying in whatever language comes to you most easily, praying together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. going to bring back um, uh, Chris Hollands, who's a, a head teacher in Bromley, one of our members, and he's going to come and share with us now uh, a great family talk. You watch this. Morning all, great to see you, uh, albeit virtually. Uh, Chris Hollands here. Um, later, Martin's going to be preaching on Psalm 139 on the title, Who Am I? So I thought I'd have a little think about that. Um, I'm a dad. Uh, I'm a husband, I'm a brother, and I'm a son. Um, but at this place, I'm not known as any of those things. Uh, I'm not even known as Chris. Here, at this place, I'm known as Mr. Hollands. Why don't you come in? Please don't worry, this was filmed earlier in the week when I was at work. Uh, we've been open every day uh, for the last six weeks or so, looking after the families of our key workers. The fantastic thing about working in a school is that I'm reminded every day of how unique we can all be. Of course, children are so unique. We all have our own gifts and talents. And despite being made all by God and in his own image, we're all so different. And do you know what, children? Teachers are exactly the same as well. We all have our strengths. We all have our subjects that we love. We all have our weaknesses as well, believe it or not. Um, for example, the teacher in this classroom is wonderfully creative. She loves teaching RE um, and art, but she can be a little bit messy sometimes too. Psalm 139 speaks of how we're children of God, all with God-given talents and gifts. Of course, that doesn't mean we all have the same. As I mentioned before, some of us may be great actors and love standing on stages such as this. Some of us might be great sportsmen or sportswomen, some artists, some readers or writers, some good at maths, some fantastic at languages. It's our uniqueness that makes us so special. But God knew before we were even born what our gifts, talents would be. And even in this strange time, this odd time when we're separated from each other, he knows what will happen in our futures too. So who am I? Well, I'm a child of God, like we all are. We've been created for an incredible purpose. At the moment, in this strange, uncertain time, speaking about purpose or future is quite tricky. But God has it all planned out. He knows our destiny and he knew it before we were even born. We might understandably be quite worried about September, maybe a new school, which we're not sure of yet. We haven't had a chance to visit, maybe a college, university, a new job. But with God in control, there's no such thing as bad luck. This was all planned. God won't lose you or forget you because we're so important to him. We've been made in his image uniquely by him. And we're so important to God nearly children as important as you all are to your teachers who I know miss you dearly. Thank you all for listening. I'm off now to deliver some of our food parcels to some of our families most in need. Um, I think that's one of my purposes uh, as a head teacher to really look after our families as best we can. Look after yourselves, stay safe, see you soon. Bye.
Thank you so much, Chris. That was just that was just lovely. Thank you so much. We really appreciate uh, you and uh, all your colleagues. Um, even even that uh, very creative, uh, messy teacher that you referred to, who's also one of our our, our members, of course, and was on the service uh, uh, the uh, the other week. God bless you. Uh, thank you again. We're going to sing of uh, the fact that we are precious to God. That He. Uh, uh, calls us to be his his children, no longer uh, a slave to fear. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. I am a child of God. We've been preparing uh, for you um, a virtual choir this, this week from our church family, and uh, they're going to sing for us now a lovely version of uh, the 23rd Psalm, The Lord's My Shepherd by Stuart Townend. The Lord's My Shepherd, 
I will trust in you alone. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me lie in pastures green. He leads me by the still, still waters. His goodness restores my soul, and I will trust in Him. Oh, thank you so much, friends. For those that uh, those that shared in in that, thank you so much, and thank you very much, John, for putting that uh, all all together. I think uh, I think a number one, don't you? Oh, I think. <laughs> um, we don't want you to lef- leave feel left out, so we're going to all sing together now. Uh, your 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 grace, your grace finds me. Breathe in your grace, breathe out your praise. Your great grace, oh, such grace. Let's worship the Lord as we sing. Remember, he's listening to you.
there in the sand I start again Is there in the newborn cry There in the light of every sunrise There in the shadows of this life Your great grace Is there in the mountain top There in the every day and the Monday There in the sorrow and the dancing Your great grace You're such the way From the creation From the creation to the cross Right from the cross into eternity your grace finds me Yes, your grace finds me Is there in a wedding day There in a weeping by the graveside There in the very breath we breathe Your grace Thank you, John. Um, hey, I'm delighted to bring back um, Rob Wolf um, into the service. Uh, Rob, as many of you know, is the captain of um, our boys' brigade, and um, I'm delighted that he could come and join us today. Rob, how long have you been captain of our boys' brigade? It's about four years now. And how long does it feel like? Feels like about 44 years now. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> It's, um, and, and how long have you been involved in Boys Brigade just generally? It's been quite a long, big part of your life, hasn't it? Yeah, I joined as a 10-year-old back in um, 1974. So I've now been in Brigade for 45 years. Wow. Wow. Mm. And um, where, where you were back in the 70s to where we are now, what sort of changes have you seen with, with the boys? Quite a lot. It was quite an old fashioned organisation when I joined it. Um, and I think in line with so many youth organisations, it's had to react to changes in society, 
what young people are looking for. Uh, and I think it's it's doing that very well. Yes, yes, absolutely. And and being completely honest, I'm sure a lot of the boys are listening. Have you missed it since we've been in lockdown? It's a good question, Phil. Um, <laughs> Friday nights, it, it's felt a little bit like an extended summer holiday. Uh, so Friday nights, OK, I've I've. I've come to terms with that. It's some of the other events today would have been church parades. So as you can see, I'm wearing my uniform uh, and I'm quite sure all the boys are sitting at home wearing their uniforms too. Um, but there's other things. This Saturday coming would have been the display. Uh, so usually by this stage, I'm uh, very stressed out, uh, wondering whether the seniors are ever going to write their piece for the display. Uh, so there's that. And of course, camp, um, as, as you know, only too well, uh, we were due to go to camp with the girls for the first time uh, for the first week of August. And that's had to be uh, postponed. But we'll, we'll do it again next year. It's uh, it's certainly going to happen again. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see you in uniform. And, and, and I certainly have missed everyone being in uniform on those um, parade days. And I'm, I'm sure you're right. I'm sure every single member of Boys Brigade and Girls Brigade are sat at home in their uniform. And, and I'm sure they marched up and down their driveway before the service began. I should hope so. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure we'll have floods of social media videos from parents just proving that um, shortly. Um, is, you, you, I know you, you picked up this coronavirus um, seems you were quite heavily hit but you you've recovered really well and and as martin said in in the fellowship chats earlier you're you're working very hard um so so god's been really active in your life and have you have you seen that as well as as you've been in lockdown yes i think so I, i'm naturally a positive person so i've i've not let the current situation get me down at all but it, it has given me time to appreciate some of the things that we have we are such a fortunate society um, and it's just given me the time to sit in the garden at times and listen to the birds and uh, appreciate all, all that we had. I think it's very easy to take for granted some of the things that, that we have. Uh, so, so that's been good. I, I think one of the other things that um, has been very important to me over the past few weeks is um, I, I have a father who's 93 uh, and in a care home in Chislehurst. And uh, I've prayed every day that he will be kept safe and God has answered my prayers there. So that's been a very important part of of my time during lockdown, um, because usually I would have gone to see my father two, maybe three times a week. Um, and that's just not possible at the, at the current time. Yeah. And, and the elderly, that generation certainly are um more vulnerable and, and, mm. and i'm so glad your prayers your prayers have been answered we continue to to pray for that um and and, and back to back to bb it's um a christian organization with with fantastic history um have, have you had time to reflect about bb in in maybe a way you'd implement any changes going forward i mean the, the possibility is we you, you may not meet again till september um uh, depending on how the government um proceed with things um obviously some of those people might have gone they're getting older you're going to have new boys coming up as well um can you see any changes coming soon not especially um i think what we do we do extremely well i'm incredibly fortunate with the amount of support i get from uh people within the church to run badge classes and uh to, to help out generally so that that's going very very well um, our numbers have been extremely good the past few years, so we must be doing something right. Um, so I don't see making any any radical, radical changes at all. Um, my hope is that the boys haven't become so comfortable sitting at home on a Friday night that they don't want to come back out when we do start back up again. And as you say, <laughs> none of us know how long it'll be. I can um, imagine they'll all be chomping at the bit to get back and... Um... Uh, leave their house if nothing else um, uh, but um, I'm sure they're missing each other and missing you I did a badge class for you um, at the start of the year which I was, yeah. I was really encouraged by and along with many um, I've done devotions for um, the older and the younger lot and um, whilst they are a rowdy lot they seem to be really encouraged by the Christian input that they they are given and whilst BB does have its um, social aspect and the fun and games part of it it is predominantly there to to teach them about Christianity and to 
to start a relationship with Jesus. Um, have you been encouraged by what you've seen with your young people? Incredibly encouraged. Um, yeah, and, and at this point, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all those people who come down on a Friday night uh, and do devotions uh, for us, and, and uh, those who come down on a Tuesday to Girls' Brigade as well. Um, it's really good for the boys to see that it's not just the staff who have a Christian faith, but that they are a part of, of the church um, and that there are members of the church who, who care about them. Um, I've always felt that it, it's quite a tough audience uh, taking devotions with a bunch of teenagers, and it often takes a few minutes to settle them down before you can get anything across to them. But I sometimes stand at the back uh, in awe of, of how uh, how the people that I've, I've asked to come in have managed to uh, control the group and get a message across. And some of the, the questions they ask, you can tell that the boys are listening and taking part and mm -hmm. so encouraging. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And just and just in closing, Rob, um, I, I'm sure I'm sure BB is tuned in, as, as you mentioned earlier, this would have been our all a celebration service today and parade would have been a heavy part of that um and and the weather would have been good enough for you to do your marching and obviously you would have had um your your big um uh, celebration um sorry um uh, soon and it's a shame we can't do those things for all those people that are listening um for all your boys that uh, are going to be coming back i'm sure um how would you like to encourage them in lockdown well, really just to stay positive um, on, on life's journey, this is just a bump in the road. Um, and I wouldn't want any of the boys to get downhearted, depressed. Um, if they can't talk to their parents, they can always talk to, to one of the staff online, of course, um, uh, if they've got any, any worries. But um, really just to stay positive. All these things are a test and it's just a case of, of how we react to them, how we deal with them. <laughs> Um, but I think actually our young people are pretty resilient, pretty tough, so uh, they'll be fine. Yes, <laughs> with God on their side, I think, yep, I think you're absolutely, absolutely right. Thanks so much, Rob. That's brilliant. Um, so during the week, um, Rob and I um, reached out to some of the Boys Brigade um, members to ask them um, about who is God. Um, and I think we've got a little video. John? This week... We asked some of the Boys Brigade members to tell us who God is to them. And here we are. To me, God is someone who's always there for you whenever you go through highs and To me, God guides us through our struggles and problems and helps us through times of need. He also is here with us whenever we're celebrating or rejoicing. To me, God is strength and shelter. To me, God is the power and ability to persevere and succeed. God is love and our Holy Father. God is peace in the storm. God is important to us because we're all really lonely. For me, God is hope and someone who I can trust will ease all my life. And there we go. Um, thank you to, to the boys who, who took part in that. Um, and thank you for, for, for the most and dressing up as well. Um, I, I was glad to see you in all in uniform. Um, let us spend some time in prayer now um, and let's give some time to the Lord. Father, as we as we pray now, may you be among us. May you speak to us and may we be alert enough just to stop and listen. May we know you more clearly, follow you more nearly and love you more dearly. Father, I'd like to take some time and pray for all the young people. Um, I think of so many of the young people at church, um, from from the ages of crash all the way through to our young adults, Lord. Um, the amount of clubs that aren't taking place at church at the moment, Father, we um, we pray for for their continuity when when our church is able to open up. We think of crash, we think of tiddlers, we think of beginners, kids zone academy, young adults, girls brigade, and boys brigade plus more, Father. We we thank you that we have so many young people who are searching for you, Lord, and we ask that you show yourself to them in all they do. It's a tough time for us all, Father, in lockdown. It's, um, it's challenging. There are many challenges, Lord, and I, and I particularly pray for the, the, the mental health of all our young people. 
well they give them courage to ask for help when they're feeling down give them direction and where to turn when things aren't going well give them strength to continue through this troubled time lord i just thank you that there's so many resources you've given to us in so many ways that they can seek you in nearly every aspect of their life and i pray for the young people in our community lord that don't yet know you i think of just earlier this week two young boys were stabbed in in orpington and um, our hearts go out lord to them and their families and uh, and the attackers within it all lord it's um it's really sad that these things go on even when we're not supposed to be outside father i lift them up to you and and pray that their healing would be quick and that justice would be served and that lessons will be learned and i pray for the parents of our families lord and our young people that are learning how to homeschool their children for the first time um, as well as undertaking jobs from home they're uh, working to try and teach their children be with them father and i and i pray particularly for children that are in abusive homes or in problematic families lord and and some fat children lord that have not got families father we lift them up to you and pray pray that they will come to know you father as their father and for the church lord i want to thank you for for martin and for the work that he is doing tirelessly in these times uh, you have taught us so much in the last two months father and we thank you we thank you that he, even though our church is closed, you've opened up a church in every home. And we are reaching so many people, Lord, now to tell them about you. And we thank you for the messages that Martin is giving. And we thank you for John and for Sanjay, uh, John's expertise, Lord, and the gifts you've given to him to enable us to, to reach so many people, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for him, Lord. And Father, I pray for people who are sick today, whether it's with coronavirus or something else, Lord. Jesus, would you meet with them? Show them your love and change their lives. We pray for all of our frontline workers at this challenging time. Guide them. Protect them from illness and sustain their energy for times to come. And for the research and scientists, Lord, to break through and find solutions. Father, we ask you to give them guidance so a cure for this disease can be found soon. For loved ones we have lost and for others on our minds, Lord, Father, we just lift them up to you now. And Father, help us to live our days to the full, being true to you in every way. Jesus, help us to guide ourselves away and give ourselves away and be kind to everyone we see. And Spirit, help us to love, proclaiming Christ in all we say and do. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Rob, um, who's going to leave us now. And uh, uh, thank you so much, Phil. That was great. That was really, that was really good, especially to to pray for our, our young people uh, during this crisis as 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 well. Um, this worship song that we're going to sing together now really invites us to enter into the experience. Um, itself rather than just to, to sing it um, as as words enter into it hold me close it says let your love surround me bring me near draw me to your side and as i wait i'll rise up like an eagle lord i come to you lord i come to you be changed, renewed, flowing from the grace that 
Oh, thank you so much, John, for leading us in that in that lovely um, uh, worship song. And we welcome back uh, Cynthia Camarage. Welcome to you, Cynthia. Um, Cynthia, you may know uh, from earlier, is a consultant in the National Health Service, and we are so thankful for you, Cynthia, and all the work that you do. But um, most of all, too, that you were a Christian um, with a very strong faith, serving God in that uh, way. And Cynthia's going to read for us God's Word now. I think it's a really appropriate psalm for you to read, as it speaks about uh, uh, us being fearfully and wonderfully made, and you know that uh, better than most. Cynthia, thank you. Yes. Psalm 139, verses 1 to 18. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? 
where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. This is the word of the Lord. God, thank you so much, Cynthia. God bless you. God keep you safe. And uh, uh, thank you so much for reading for us so beautifully this morning. Thank you. We're going to think uh, just together for a, a few minutes about that reading from Psalm 139. I, I think uh, a favorite for, for many uh, uh, people. So let's just reflect for a few minutes uh, together about it. Who do you think you are? That's to borrow a phrase, of course, from a, a popular TV series that some of us have watched. People, of course, find their identity in many different ways. Some people through their family. Uh, other people often, actually, through their, through their jobs. So they identify themselves by the job that they do, even by their, by their image and what they, what they look like. Yet, actually, at a time like this, when this epidemic has caused such disruption for us and for people around the world, I, I think we need to, all of us, to pause and think again. Who am I? Where do I find my security in life? What makes me the, the person that I, that I am, that I can be? And other things are, are taken away from us or seem very vulnerable or insecure. Who do you think you are? Well, Psalm 139, written by David very long ago, asked that same question, who am I? And he, he finds the answer and recommends it to us, not in anything that he brings to the table, but in the light of his creator God. You, he says, speaking of God, you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, Lord, because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Rick Warren puts it in his best-selling book, The Purpose Driven Life. You are not an accident. Long before you were conceived by your parents, you were conceived in the mind of God. When I was a child, we lived for a while with my grandparents in a little terraced house in, in Brixton. A few years ago, I, I went back, and uh, where that terraced house was is now a, a big block of flats. But I remember to this day how, how there was a notice on the wall in the living room above the fireplace. It's a, a notice that perhaps you've seen too. And it read, he is the unseen guest at every table, the silent listener to every conversation. 
I didn't know it then, but actually that, that saying is kind of inspired by Psalm 139 that we've heard this morning. This is what it says to us. It says, whether I, I stand up or whether I sit down, whether I stay at home or whether I, I travel afar, before a word is even on my tongue, you know me, Lord, completely and utterly. You know me, Lord, better than I know myself, which sometimes isn't very hard. <laughs> In fact, when sometimes we find it difficult to understand ourselves or even to accept ourselves, when sometimes we even condemn ourselves, he, he knows us, he understands us, he loves us with an everlasting love. Even if we wanted to, <laughs> there's no escaping his presence famous poem by Francis Thompson puts it, I fled him down the nights and down the days. I fled him down the arches of the years, for he is the hound of heaven, and he comes after you. He comes after you in his love and in his grace, he comes after you to assure you that you are his child first and foremost, and you can find your security in him. If I go up to the heavens, the psalm puts it, you are there. If I make my bed in the very lowest place, you are there as well. As Christians today, we can believe that Jesus Christ is with us always, and that by his Holy Spirit today, he comes to live not just alongside of us, but within us as we put our trust in Christ as Savior and Lord. Even the darkness, David says, is not dark to God. That is, even in the pain or the suffering or the sadness that we, that we go through, even the darkness will not be dark to him. The night, it says, will shine like the day. And it helps you find treasures in the darkness. He sees you completely. He understands you utterly. He loves you. He loves you unconditionally. I believe that in relationship with God through Jesus Christ, we can find our identity, security, and a peace that will never be shaken. Not in things that get taken away from us or in jobs that might be sadly insecure, especially just now, or in an image that, that fades. But in God, our Creator, and in His Son, our Saviour and Lord. Who, who do you say I am? As we sang it earlier, I am who you say I am, a child of my of my Father in heaven, everlastingly loved by him. This weekend, our, our nation has been remembering uh, VE Day, 75 years uh, ago on, on Friday. Sadly, now we, we, we fight another international war against an invisible enemy in this coronavirus. But I, I believe that victory will come and we will, we will meet again. Just as 75 years ago, street parties soon had to give way to the huge task of, of rebuilding our nation and our economy. So there's challenges for us ahead, aren't there, as a society, as individuals, as a community, as families, there's challenges ahead. And when you face those challenges, 
it helps so much if you understand who you are if you can um, if you can see what's actually most important in life if you can have a have a vision for your life that's based on being a secure person by putting your trust in god today whatever challenge comes now or in the future you can know that you are a child of god it says at the end of the psalm search me o god and know my heart test me and know my anxious thoughts see if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you. We thank you that we are uh, your children through Jesus Christ adopted into your family. Help us in these moments to find our identity and security in you through faith in that same Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to know for all the challenges in our lives and for the challenges ahead, your peace. Passing all human understanding. Thank you, Lord. Amen. John uh, is not only a great worship leader, he's a, he's a great songwriter too. And, uh, and John has, has a, a couple of albums um, that he's, uh, he's got out there on the, on the market. Uh, lots of people love to, to listen to those. And, and John, you're going to sing uh, for us one of those songs that you've, that you've written that's, I think, um, based on that message on Psalm 139. Well, yes? I was going to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> then, then <laughs> you've I dug changed it your out mind. of the depths of all my song. Kind of, I never get time to finish anything, so I didn't yeah. finish it. So I'm going to read oh, you the okay. first verse, um, just uh, the words that came to me as we were talking about this subject this week. The, the words that I have written are, <laughs> Come to me, children. I am your Father in heaven. Before the angels sang, or creation was brought into being, even then I loved you. Even then I knew your name. Quite profound realities, if we can really get that into our brains, that no matter what we have done, no matter what we will do in the future, he saw us before we were even born. So... He loves yes. us nonetheless. Yes, so that was thank the you. sentiment of that song. You'll hear it one day. <laughs> yes, and, and perhaps you'll finish it too. <laughs> Good challenge. <laughs> thank you, John. Thank you. But you are going to lead us in, in our final song this morning that puts our lives into perspective because it puts our lives into the perspective of the King of Kings, the God of heaven who wants to live within me. King of kings, majesty, God of heaven, living in me. If you can stand up and see the screen still, I, I, I think it's a really good thing to stand up now and uh, sing this, this final song in, in worship. King of kings. King of kings. King of kings. friend, strong deliverer, beginning and end, all within me cries at your throne, your majesty, I can but bow, I lay my own before you now, in royal I live to serve 
your majesty earth and heaven earth and heaven worship you love eternal faithful and true who brought the nations ransom souls brought the sinner near to your throne all within me cries out with praise your majesty i can but bow i lay my all before you now royal I live to serve your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, I can but bow, I lay my own before you now, in royal robes I don't deserve, I live to serve your majesty. Yes, I live to serve your majesty. You I live to serve your majesty. Oh, thank you so much. We're coming to an end of our, our service this morning, but uh, uh, do tune in, do watch uh, again uh, next week, next uh, Sunday morning, 10 for 10.30, uh, worship uh, live. And uh, it's communion as well, so be be prepared for, for that. This day as well, uh, God's work continues in prayer ministry. And uh, if you'd like somebody to pray with, uh, there's somebody uh, available every day. And uh, today from 12 o'clock in a, in a little while, um, Remy, one of our members, Remy Adesina, will be by the phone waiting for your call. And then later on in the afternoon, about four, Liz Salins will also be available for, for prayer ministry. So do take that opportunity or just be in touch in the week as well with uh, um, any of us as we would love to chat with you, to listen to you, uh, uh, to pray with you and for you that we might know ourselves uh, secure in the Father's love. And may the blessing of God Almighty, who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you this day and forever. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Once more, John, the Lord's my shepherd. I will trust in you alone. The Lord's my shepherd, I'm not one. He makes me lie in pasture free. He leads me by the still, still waters. His goodness restores my soul, and I will trust in Him. I will trust in you alone.
Try. 